Hey everyone, so this is a quick test of the video capture comparing the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which was the flagship for last year, compared to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is the flagship for this year. So this is both using the standard um, wide angle lens and this is set at 4K 60 with everything sort of set to maximum. Uh, for f basically for fluid motion um, what I'll do is I'm on the 12 Pro Max I'm not sure if it actually gives me the option to switch to 0.5 and actually use the 0.5 lens so I'll just do that now no it won't so Similar thing on the iPhone uh, 13 as well. So whilst recording in 4K 60, it won't let you switch between the actual lenses. So this is the sort of perfect scenario, really. Lots of beautiful sunshine, um, lots of bright light to work with. Um, let's test a little close-up subject. And what I'll do now is I'll stop and I'll go to the ultra wide and we'll see how that works on, on each. Okay, so this is now switched to the ultra wide. I've, I've got to be careful. I can't actually see the back screen. I'm literally using the camera bumps in order to try and get the cameras aligned as best as possible. Um, audio is obviously being captured straight from the phones. Now the 11, uh, the 12 Pro Max, sorry, is behind the, um, in terms of how I'm looking at them, it's behind the 13 Pro Max. So in terms of audio, it probably wouldn't be fair to actually do a comparison. Um, but this is now on the uh, ultra wide lens. So let's see how they compare in terms of being able to focus on a close subject. So I'm looking at the screen on the 13 Pro Max and that is literally like the case of the 13 Pro Max is literally touching the wood panel at the moment. So yeah, the, the macro photography definitely works um, I can literally touch the case of the 13 Pro Max right against the panel and it will still be perfectly fine um, turned out to be quite a nice day after what was meant to have been quite a miserable morning um, up until the iPhones arrived basically um, and then the iPhone seemed to have made made the whole day better but yeah, that is the ultra wide lens. So next we'll switch to the telephoto lens. Okay, so here we are with the telephoto lens. Now the 12 Pro Max has a 2.5X zoom. The uh, 13 Pro Max has a 3X zoom. Sorry about the sickness, seasickness I'm probably giving you at the moment. Um, because of how zoomed in the 13 Pro Max is, and it's a very different focal um, focal length as well. Um, I'm guessing that this, this is going to be a very different video on each. Um, Stability-wise, uh, now that I'm actually moving forward, this is me basically walking towards this, this bin without, it, without being too careful basically. Um, it is quite windy at the moment so we'll, we'll have to wait and see what the audio actually ends up like. Um, but yeah, stability-wise, it's not too bad. Um, initially, obviously, when I started it and I was looking at this fencing, I wasn't too impressed by um, the stability of it, just because, obviously, I was panning against something that's very, very close. Um, but now that I've actually... If, if you get it on a further subject like this, then obviously walking, you, you will get a little bit of a shake, but it's not, not as bad as what the old phones used to do and what the... Uh, one of the the next or one of the coming tests where I'll be putting the 13 Pro Max up against my a7s 3 and we'll have to wait and see how it actually does against that but I'm guessing the stability on the a7s 3 even with steady shot on um, probably won't match what the uh, the iPhone can do so um, yeah let me know what you think about the comparison between both the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max I will be doing a low light test as well obviously this is ideal scenario um, not the best surroundings at the moment unfortunately everything's pretty much dead um, this tree's got a few a few apples still growing um, but yeah hopefully I'll, I'll get some better surroundings to actually show you 
got some clouds there. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think about the two comparisons uh, in this particular video. I love these are these are both handheld, purely handheld, by the way. So in future videos, what I'm going to be doing is rigging everything up. So I'll put them into a smartphone rig and try and get as the sort of focal areas as close as possible. But it'll, it'll allow me to actually keep both of them a lot more steady. Whereas right now, I'm literally having to brace one phone against another, which means hopefully both of them are coming out but if not you might find that one is actually slightly blocking the other hey everyone so here we are back with a cinematic video test so at the moment i'm just going to try and focus in on this rusty pole here um, the iphone 13 pro max is obviously in cinematic mode um, and the 12 Pro Max, which I'm comparing it against, is just set in HD 30 FPS, so basically exactly the same format as what this would be doing, um, but obviously without the without the cinematic mode. So I can't actually see what the 12 Pro Max is doing in terms of focus because I'm not I'm not touching against it. Um, it's basically blocked by these just so that I can keep the actual cameras as close as possible But it should hopefully give you an idea in terms of let me just bring this one in uh, Blocking it with my so this is the equivalent of what the 12 Pro Max is doing and the 13 Pro Max So yeah, um, I'll have more cinematic video tests coming later with better subjects um, at the moment, everybody's out, so I don't really have anybody to work with, but hopefully I'll get some more subjects and we'll do a better test of this.